the next morning. The family of Yutu's aunt came to his home to pay a New Year call. But Yutu is absent-minded. He looked at the clock on the wall. It was 9 o'clock. Thinking that Jingjing should get up now. So he picked up his phone. And got up to send a message to ask Jingjing if she's get up. Also invites her to join him for breakfast near his house. But Jingjing is still angry at the moment. She didn't reply to him. You two has been left out like this. Everyone was talking and laughing at the dinner table. Only you two looks at his phone from time to time. But hasn't got Jingjing's reply. He's very upset. His cousin sit next him. Sees through you two at a glance. Said that he's pretty sure that you two's in love. Or he's chasing a girl. Cannot help laughing at him. He's not very attractive when it comes to women. Your brother's in a very upset mood right now. You ran into a gun. Isn't that self-inflicted? Your brother is a man of vengeance. Speak of the devil. <笑>你别提了 after dinner you two waits and waits. Still did not get Jingjing's reply. His heart can't bear it. So he couldn't wait to call Jingjing. Ask where she is. Turns out this superstar is digging for bamboo shoots in the mountains. And Jingjing over here. Looking at the number shows on her phone. Have no intention of answering. Her brother had to connect the phone for her. 嗯,好,谢谢。啊。谁的电话? Her brother thinks that didn't you see it. And pretend to be confused. But he still can't get past the bloodline. Gently hand the phone to Jingjing. Then he obediently walked away. You two wanted to invite Jingjing to go out and play together. But Jingjing refused deliberately. Said she has no time to talk to him for these days. Can't get an appointment. You two had to hang up the phone. Looks like Mr. Yu's road of chasing a wife will not going so well. In the evening. Jingjing returned home with bags of bamboo shoots. She was tired all day and didn't want to go out again. But the bestie insisted on dragging her out. She said her hometown had changed a lot in the past two years. Dongqiu is really beautiful now. At the thought of you two called her and also mentioned Dongqiu. So she said yes. In fact, she wants to see if she can meet you two there. She didn't expect that once get in the car. Pei Pei found Yu Tu's driver's license. In the restaurant, Pei Pei asks about her relationship with Yu Tu. Wanted to know if they were together. Jingjing Jing describes it lightly. How she and you were reunited. There was no contact between the two after the game. Pei Pei had a smirk on his face and didn't believe it. Meet the love of youth again. She can't believe there's no any other progress. 你好好想想我如果真的跟他在一起我现在还会跟你出来喝东西啊最倒是你肯定是重色轻友呀那你也不能把重色轻友说的这么理直气壮我的意思是说如果我真的跟他在一起我怎么可能会单独出来呢我
those quintuples were the day she's in the match. You two won it for her while she was out giving awards. So that is what it is. He never forgot her birthday. Only because Jingjing was busy with work after being rejected by him. And never opened the game. So she didn't find this gift. And the reason why you two will refuse Jingjing. Because of fear of not giving Jingjing the happiness she wants. Not only doesn't have time to be with her. But also couldn't meet her material needs. Later. Then she thought of what he had said to her in confession. Jingjing also finally understand you two's love. Which is restrained and restrained. She suddenly gets a little upset. Because of you two's love for her. Not less than her love for you two. She heard from Pei Pei that. Her high school classmates are getting ready for a party. Without hesitation, she agreed to attend. Then she might see you two on the party.